Everybody in the whole fucking place is staring at us. We're not to mention, we're like, we're sweating. We got bottles of steroids up our fucking asses. We're uncomfortable. Drugs, steroids. You've obviously been known to take them. You've written about it. Your kind of perspective on that in general? Well, I mean, I think there's different things. There's, there's HRT, which is basically hormone replacement therapy. And then there's doing like a heavy steroid cycle. And then there's, you know, juicing. And juicing is, you know, that's a different deal because now you're in like the super high, you know, range where the instances of side effects are gonna be a lot higher and, um, you know, bigger risk, bigger reward. So it's, you know, it just depends on what your goals are. How about last time you used steroids? Well, it depends on how you define steroids. Like, I mean, I'm on, I'm on HRT, so I get like hormone replacement therapy from my doctor. When I, when I think of steroids, I think of like anabolic steroids. Right. Um, and so I haven't really taken a ton of that. Like I did when I was going through buzz, it took a little bit. I'm not gonna make you recall every story from the, from the book, obviously, but uh, my favorite that I have to ask you about is crossing the Mexican border to get steroids and then uh, using condoms for an unconventional purpose. Yeah, man, that's what we had to do. It was unpleasant. All right, come on, tell me about it. So yeah, we're in the fucking Mexican bathroom stall. We're trying to figure out how to get these bottles up our ass. And um, I put them in the condom and then, you know, I got in the, fucking, the stall over here. The guy's like, oh, fuck, I can't get this in my ass. And I'm like, fucking, you know, use more lube. And then my buddy's like, oh, fucking, this hurts. And you know, so these conversations, you're just like hearing snippets of it, right? So I, there must've been somebody else in the bathroom that could have heard this. It was like, swear that we were like, butt each other or something, you know? And uh, so we walked out of this damn bathroom. It was like everybody in the whole fucking place is staring at us. So not to mention, we're like, we're sweating. We got bottles of steroids up our fucking asses. We're uncomfortable. The funny thing about this whole deal was it was to save 150 bucks because I could have just paid my buddy 150 bucks and he would have smuggled my shit across. So you get across the border. Yeah. My buddy couldn't even hold his shit. So we, like, we literally, like the first exit, he's like screaming like for us to pull over and he just like drops his pants and takes his shit in the Goodyear parking lot. And then he's like going through his shit to get the fucking juice, you know? It was just very ridiculous. What's the deal with you and Quaaludes? I just like them, man. I've always like, even like ever since college, like I've been looking for something that's, you know, an alternative to alcohol. Cause alcohol is just so, so fucking hard in your body. Like shit, man, last night I just did 18 damn shots and I was like hung over. But if I was taking Quaaludes last night, I would've felt you know, cool as a cucumber. Five years ago, six years ago, a buddy of mine like made some Quaaludes and uh, so we had- Made for, Quaaludes? Yeah, like he had a made it in a lab or some shit. So we had them for a while and I had mine in a vitamin C thing and um, came home from a trip one time and my maid had seen that it was expired, the vitamin C, and she chucked them all. It's like fifty thousand dollars worth of quaaludes. It was a full-blown panic attack. I was so damn angry. I wanted to kill her, but it wasn't her fault. You know, I couldn't even fire. Her. I was like, couldn't even yell at her. I mean, she, you know, what what does she know? She just thought she was throwing away some fucking expired vitamin C. Because outside of like the Wolf of Wall Street, where you know, Jordan Belfort did it in kind of earlier days, it's not uh, well, really something that you hear about as much anymore. Jordan offered me five thousand a pill. He was. Man, his eyes lit up when he heard I had some. How concerned are you about lasting damage to your body from all the partying? You know, I, I don't get f***ed up that much. That's the thing. And then, you know, like doing a Quaalude is way, way better for you than drinking or, you know, doing blow or molly or any of that other shit. So I think for like how much I've gone out and how many girls I've hooked up with and all that shit, I think I've like probably done a pretty fair job of keeping my together.